Alrighty then, folks, we are back with episode 69, I believe, of SD Gundam G Generations Genesis. Best number for the final episode. But it is finally time to go over Rainbow. So this is the final stage in the game. See, there's nothing left. We've cleared everything else but that. Wow, there's a lot of stages. It is finally time... <laughs> You know what, six months later, it's finally time to end this shit. Yeah, about five months. Give or take. Like, four months, six days. You're like, they have all these awesome ass pictures and we can't get them. Or if we did, we'd have the overlay. <laughs> Yeah, how have you, everyone? Important character, important character, faceless people, important character. Don't worry, she's just a clone. We have like 30 others. Who would have guessed that a play clone was the real key? Goddamn ghosts. He might what die because of the unicorn? It can't possibly happen. So I believe this is in Cheyenne, uh, Colorado. So this place is actually defended by Carl Gustavs, which, you know, makes uh, Mufti, or does that say Mufti Slash, Hathaway Slash Cannon? I believe that's how the rules work. But they have Carl Gustavs defending this place. Which I will point out they shouldn't have for at least three years. But that's not important. And also notice how all those people are yellow. 
It means the Federation's gonna pop out again. Yeah, we're definitely going one side at a time this time, instead of going one in one. Uh, Londo Bell doesn't actually have any power on the planet. Only close Earth orbit and I believe Luna 2. They don't control Luna 2, but they're allowed docking privilege there. Um, they're slowly stripping away the rights of Londo Bell. And Eco Siegans, which are actually our allies, weirdly enough. I know I don't have to say it, but I don't trust them. They're going to betray us. Don't trust them. They still haven't... Fixed, like... They still haven't fixed that catapult yet. Uh, 250 million years, right? Or is it 275? And I think that was 180 million? Okay. Okay, so I always found this really weird thing to include in the charter. This is basically saying, hey, if aliens ever come, we're their bitches now. Like, is a weird thing to include. That's something like you would imply, but you wouldn't actually include. It's like, that's just straight up weird. It's like in the, uh, it's like in the United States Constitution, if they put in a, a line that's just like, yeah, if Spain ever decides to invade, we'll become part of Spain. Like, why? Of course, my theory on this is basically that the guy who created the series came up with the idea for the series, but couldn't figure out what was in the box. 
So he had to come with something real fast, and it was real bad. Uh, way back in the day, I was sure that the box actually had the turn A in it. Because the turn A was like the cat, or not the turn A, the turn X. Whichever one was the alien one, I believe it was the turn X. But like, they captured it and they just kept it in there. But they knew what it could do. But it is such a weapon that like they could destroy everything if they wanted. But they kept it hidden, but threatened the Federation with it to get their way. And on a completely unrelated note, that really annoying narrator guy is him. することなく新の入タイプの可能さは数値を超える。それが誰であれ、新の入タイプを箱へと導く鍵。それがユニコーンガンダムです。全ては Funny part is completely wrong. Like, absolutely horribly wrong. No one actually acknowledged that this thing exists ever. Yay, finally story things, not just talking. Which I have to say, this is the most eloquent campaign out of all of them. Like, the other ones were jokingly bad. These ones are actually pretty good. Or this one is actually pretty, bu uh, pretty good. Like, Cross Dimensions was horrible, now having actually played that game.
心配はいらんその時のためにこの目柄にかその時とは箱の森人として一個の肉体としては長すぎる時を渡りながらもし本当に入隊と彼らならよりよく箱を使いあるべき未来を取り人の精神だがそれは私の望みだたった一つの望みは人の数だけあるこのまま箱を開けずとも良いし壊してくれても構わないそれでは気が済まないというならこの折り骨お前は何を望むニュータイプが新たな人の形であるならそれを見分ける力はだから俺や彼女があなたが求める姿勢をそれでもその先にあるもの準備できているあらゆる通信放送システムを回収よはないぞ前方は総力を挙げて阻止しようやめた方がいい<笑>むしろ可能性を閉ざす行為だ箱の秘密は秘密のまま連邦と取引する材料に使えばいいフロンタルそれでこそスペースノイドに真の反映がもたらされる。Really、love if the was just like, yeah, no, it's not actually that good. We completely lied to you the whole time. <laughs> you said it was good. I was like, yeah, no, it's not actually that good. We completely lied to you the whole time. この目で箱の正体を確かめたいと願ったのは私ではない実は私にもわからないのです作り物の器に注がれたこの思いがビシトケ総主サイアムビスコネオジオン総帥としてスペースノイドを代表するものこれは代理人同士の交渉ではありません鍵の受け渡しの時のような邪魔はお前の言うことも間違ってはいない人が目の前の現実を生きならなればこそだ箱の解放の是非はそれを取引の材料としか考えられん人間お前や私のような人間にシャアの亡霊よ時期に宇宙世紀は100年の不思議を迎え子供たちに託すべき時が来たとは考えられんか<笑>彼らこそ真のニュータイプであるそれは重要ではない箱へと至る道のり私はそれを受け入れたくを了解したこれ以上の戦争行為は本意でが受け入れられないなら宇宙世紀憲章は実力を行使してクルフロンタルバナージ戻ってくるよ必ずしてこれはどのような未来をも言葉は言葉でしかない無論箱が解放されれば当面はしかしそもそもニュータイプとは実在するそれでもバナージは100年前石器に心からの善意を刻み込んだ人々と同じようにその善意を今に伝えるべく箱を守り続けてきたあなたと同じようにあれはいい連れ合いを持ったえ見ねば天下あなたの口から我らのたった一つの望みをこの宇宙世紀を生きる人々に。Alright, can we fight now? Liz?
Yay, those two units we don't have. Now we only have two left. Oh, actually, one of the units we don't have. We have the green unicorn, we don't have the crystalline unicorn. Oh yeah, spoilers, that's what we're about to get. But as I said earlier, I assume you have all already played unicorn, or already seen unicorn. Looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Then yeah, just green mode, we've seen that before. Wow, they actually get the egg in, so that's cool. Yeah, I'm assuming, um, Benadjer defeat Full Frontal. Yeah, figured as much, and as far as quests go... Let's see, um, after engage Full Frontal in battle, I'll have Benadjer defeat Full Frontal. Okay, so we need Ride to attack him, and then we need Benadjer to attack him, then we need to kill him with Banana Man. And... I'm guessing we just have to do the mission for that, I don't know. And, um, do we have any Jägens left? Yeah, we do, actually. Good to know. Hmm, how do we want to go about this? I'm pretty sure we'll wipe, like, these all out on the first turn, and then these guys as well, and then next turn we'll, like, tackle these guys. I'm expecting reinforcements to come in for a final battle. There's way too few people. We want Rumble Tai... Rumble Taicho? About to call him Rumble Kaicho. I believe he was only a lieutenant. I don't think he was a captain, was he? He might have been a captain. I actually don't remember. Let's, let's pop Johnny Ridden. Heat of Lance, this guy. Why not? Along with an income. I honestly think this one's gonna go faster than the other one. Because even with the extra people are gonna pop up, there's just less people in this one. And I did point it out before, but they have the sleeve Zaku 3s. The only difference is the cockpit has, like, a leaf painted on it. Which probably means something, but I have no idea what that means. Let's go with Nimbus. We'll then pull everyone back and then have the first team go out and go get the last three kills. Yep. We'll let everyone go get more energy. Especially Nimbus, because he got like all the kills in that run. Let's see, we want Charu. Charu Tachi. And we want Chararu. Uh, and now he's the captain in Zeon, too. No. Oh, thought that was gonna kill him. Yeah, that makes things a little bit more tough than I thought they would be. Oh.
All right, so we're going to have um, Char and Haman go attack this guy, and then we'll have um, Char finish him off, and then we'll have Char move back to here. So he at least gets a little cover. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to go move forward and attack somebody. Probably the Ard Jarja, actually. And we'll go here. We'll shoot this guy. Yeah, we got one left. And over here. No. Let's start with Shirako. Missiles one shot him as well. All right, then. Or at least they one shot the Drossies. The Gaza Ds have a thousand more HP than that. I really should have picked up a G Gundam. I kept forgetting. It's too late now. Oh well. It is what it is. Honestly, thinking about kill him. I think we'll go kill the Drossi, then we'll pull out the Unicorns. Or you know what, let's just pull these guys back. And then we'll pull out the Unicorns, and then we'll kill all those guys, and do exactly what I was saying before. So, we can use your Beam Tompa, and your Revolving Launcher. I don't think we've seen either of those before. I'm gonna do something kind of dumb. Entirely because I'm curious as to what those look like. At least I don't think we've seen the revolving launcher before. We might have. Okay, I actually think we've seen that before. But we might have just saw that in a different form of the unicorn. Or of the banshee. So except for Ride talking, that's the unicorns just in yellow instead of red. You know, they're like one of the flagship units. I didn't expect them to be repeats. Whatever. I'll get over it.
but we need both a uh, banana man and ride to attack the Neo Zeong, then we need to have banana kill the Neo Zeong. Which honestly doesn't sound that hard. I know it's basically death to anything they hit us with, but we can cheat that very, very easily. Oh wait, we can't. We have to melee you, don't we? Well, we're gonna bullshit it, because fuck that game. I also like how the shield's on the back, it's cool. No, okay, we can't do it there either. Oh well, we'll wait till later. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up and melee him, which means we're gonna get in close and use, like, a bunch of particles or something. Yeah, I didn't expect those guys to move just yet. Probably the Drossies would be the first things to move. And what is your radar, your area like? Ooh, you have Delete and full. Ooh, I want that. That's good. That's basically all of the abilities, all of them. Um, I was looking for that one. Nine tiles. That's quite a big radius. Oops. Not that one either. What am I going for? Alright, so... Can we go from here? Can we go from here? Can we go from here? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, they're just Yegans, you know. They're not hard. Zeta Gundam, double Zeta Gundam, whatever you are. I don't think that's gonna kill him, but you know, I, I clicked it too quick. Oh, hey, I could use map attacks on him, couldn't I? We're gonna throw three into here, and then we're gonna throw the rest into HP, I guess? Sadly, energy just still wins out in value over everything. But, like, it's not worth it at that point. Hmm. Alright, so, Banana Man. Damn it, banana. Not supposed to get hit. Yeah, he can't do anything.
But conversely, neither will the Neo Zeong, so. I do really want them to just like get into a knife fight because we'll win. Yeah, so we'll pull right up, we'll melee him. Hopefully we can give him like sway or something beforehand. And then we'll pull the Nadger up and have him hit him. versus a hundred. Oh, he also has twice the HP we do. Double Zeta. Well, if we get Double Zeta out there to go hit the Yagen. No. Okay, that's fine. These skills. Um, you don't have sway. Great. Yeah, you're not a real person, so you don't care. And skills. Do you have? You have quick motion. Eh, just barely out. Damn it. Alright, we can still group attack if we wanted. He's not allowed to shoot his back, but for some reason our ships can still shoot. Alright, you don't have anyone outside, that's why you can't. Launch the Khars! If only we could launch nukes! Was worth a try, you know? Do you have sweat? You do. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move here, we're gonna beam Tompa you. We're gonna have you go here, you're going to sway. You're gonna beam Tom for this guy. So he has a 0% chance to hit. Alright, and then you. You're also gonna sway. And you're gonna beam Tampa.
Alright, so. I think we should be good. We just have to have Banana go and kill him now. Which, you know, I found out the cheat, apparently. Make this a lot easier. Just group attack them and get shit done. We just need one person out. We don't actually need multiples. So that's fine there. Um, have anything to heal yourself? You have Encore. We'll use that a little bit later. Don't die, banana. Please. Alright. That worked. That worked out well. Sadly, he's not wrong. Oh look, Axis again. Third time in the past three episodes. Hey, that other thumbnail. And oh fuck, Abaoku. We're back again. I also have that as a thumbnail. Probably get that one if I wanted. Um, I believe non new types know what entropy is. This is the heat death of the universe. Basically, humanity is always going to lead to this because the universe is always going to lead to heat death. That's how it works. Just get over it. There's so many trillions of years to let get over it.
I, I wonder if he realized he just killed his own son. Oh. Yeah, here's the thing, you're never working for the Federation. You're going to a camp. Sorry to tell you that. You're not rich, so you don't even get to live in a nice place. You just get to live in an apartment somewhere. Then again, I think you're the heir to the Fist Fortune, so... You are actually kinda rich, too. Hey, a Regelg. Who'd have guessed? Also, those cool ass bows. And what spawns? Oh, Dovin Wolves. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so we got the Ghost of Char. I, I was really hoping that was just going to be the end, but okay. I'm just going to assume the goal is to survive for five turns. Or to kill them all in five turns. Which, I mean, like, shouldn't be too hard, should it? Alright, so we're just gonna rush this. I really don't care. I'm done. Oh wow, normal Gelgoogs too. Gelgoogs, Regal, the Sturm Gallus, some Gigans, some Bows. Oh, do the Moscovas have anything in them? Alright, so we'll beam magnum you, and we'll beam magnum with you. Right now we want that one, and that one. Then we'll sink. We'll, we'll sink you. Wonder if we can kill that Dovin Wolf in one turn as well. 
Or if we'll have to wait for that. Probably with the Penelope we could. This side won't go nearly as well, sadly. And we get Nimbus out. Oh, is there anyone in the Stormgauts or the Regeld? I doubt it, but why not check? Nope, just Neo Zeon soldiers. Yeah, I figured as much. If Rubber wasn't in the uh, Schneid. Incredibly unlikely. No, oh, that won't actually kill him. Damn. Oh well. Hey, Johnny Ridden. Your last goal for now, for the foreseeable future, is to murder some Neo Zeon remnants. You all remember that Johnny Ridden will eventually become the leader of Mars Zeon. I'm wondering if they're going to keep that as canon or not, but that did happen. So if you guys didn't know, Mars Zeon, or as I mentioned last episode, the Oldsmobile army, are basically a bunch of Zeon remnants based out of Mars. That pilot old, uh, uh, newer mobile suits based off of the gear Dogo, weirdly enough, that look like older mobile suits. So they, like, use Hyzat, or they use Zaku's, Dom's, uh, reformed Galfs, which work in space. Uh, now I don't think the Galgook was canon, was it? I know there's a, it's either that or the Seed one that wasn't canon, I don't remember. Which, uh, the Seed Destiny. Destiny ripped off the Z uh, the Zaku, the Dom, the Gauf, and I think the Gelgu. I don't know. I get them mixed up all the time, but like they ripped off a bunch of older suits, and because they looked like the old version, everyone kind of misjudged them, and they got the name Oldsmobile Army, which was an old car brand. If you're old enough, or if you're young enough not to know, and the leader of that faction was in fact Johnny Rich. Or at least the name Johnny Ridden, we didn't actually find out. Was that silhouette, uh, F, uh, 122 silhouette formula, I think it was called? Something like that. If we were playing Spirits, I could show it to you. It's in that. Um, the thing about it, though, is Job John is the scientist who develops the Gundam in that. Yes, that Job John, the one from, uh, the one from 0079. Which means Job John has done everything from uh, cleaning out the cells in the prison to building Gundams. And the series is ultimately Job John versus Johnny Rid. You know, we'll deal with those guys next turn. It'll be easier because they'll come to us to attack and we'll just murder them all. I do like that series, though, because, like, I like how they redid the old aesthetic. Plus, I think the, uh, Space Scouts look badass. Yeah, I think they did have Galgoogs in that, because I remember this white and red one. I absolutely adored what it looked like. And it was one of the guys who steals the Gundam in it. Oh, yeah, um, spoiler, in the first, like, 30 min- or the first, like, 30 pages of it. Somebody steals a Gundam. Because it's a Gundam series and, you know, they never lock those things. But 
Though I've apparently found out why they don't put locks on mobile suits. Yeah, it'll take us like 30 seconds, bro. Don't worry about it. Um, they don't... It's an old fighter pilot thing. They, uh, I think it was in World War II. They had locks on uh, planes, but one of the aircraft carriers that got sunk... One of the reasons why it got sunk is because they, like, locked the planes from being able to take off. So to start it back up, it took too long. So they eventually just started taking off the locks off of planes. Well, off of, like, fighter jets and shit. But apparently that's a real thing. I had no idea. That still begs the question as to why an active nuke was in the fucking GPO2. And there wasn't somebody actively watching the goddamn GPO2. Why they let anyone get away with that, I don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know. Ooh, fighting spirit. That'll be useful. Oh, no, not that one. We want to keep that one, theoretically. Yeah, I'll probably just keep this one as one video, too, because who cares? It'll be like 10 minutes over. It'll be fine if you're this deep into the series and you have a problem with the length. I don't know why you watch this far. Because you know after this they're going to have like a 10 minute cutscene. And then we're going to be done. And it's going to be great. Alright, and... Oh, you know what? Let's big beam saber you. And yeah, if you're wondering, Nugar, uh, Agar is a new type. He's the best kind of new type, too. He's the level... He's an exactly one point new type. If you look at the bottom, he has one awakening. I did that so he could use funnels, but they don't work like that in this game. You need, like, 200 and... Bullshitting 200 points is so much harder. And there you have it, folks, the final unit in the game. The Crystalline Unicorn. Or is it crystallized?
Roll credits. Oh, did we not get the final quest? リンクスという肉体を返し、100億以上の死を収積、淡く輝く虹色の用水に生まれたての複数の死と溶け合い、バナージと例え、期待が無事でも肉体がそこにあろうと。その議会は重く切なく。オードリー・バーンは宇宙
you can't go the speed of light with a colony. There's no way you could get that much mass. You would need over 200 billion tons of extra mass. In fuel. So, like, you could get... I think somebody somewhere did the math and you got, like, 10,000 kilometers per hour or something with the colony. But yeah. Anyway, folks. That was that. If you like the episode, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. I don't know. This is the end of the game. Except for not really, but we'll go we'll be over that in a second. But from what I remember, colonies can go like a, a 10,365-ish kilometers per hour. So it would take a couple of million years at least to get out of the Milky Way. Or at least if you're going towards like Andromeda or Pegasus.